in our earlier video we have gone through rows to column now we are going to do columns into row so there are two ways to achieve this first is using normalizer transformation which is the basic one and it is the easiest one and uh, I'm not going through it the second way which I am going through is by using Java transformation so let's begin create a mapping drag source and target so for these I have a source called student in HR schema which contains student ID his name and marks in math, English, science and Hindi subjects and uh, our target is student target which does not contain a primary key which is the requirement and it contains SID, name, subject and marks so to do this Let's show you the schemas in database. Okay, this is our source. Means SID 1.1 is Kamlesh. Math marks is 98. For English it is 78. For science it is 56. And for Hindi it is 99. Means we have four records in our source. So it should be uh, four into four. Means 16 records in our target. And target is like this. Okay, it contains SID, name, subject, and marks. Let's design our mapping. So, to use this, use the Java transformation. Go to transformation, then select Java. Name it. Select active one. Done. Okay. Select all the ports from source qualifier drag it to here and okay these are the output ports so what I'm going to do I'm going to drag it away okay before it I'm going to save it now I'm going to change the name of the ports SID is the input port name underscore name for map it is input port English is input port Science is input port, Hindi is in input port. So these are input ports. Okay. Now these are output ports. Okay. Okay, all the input and output ports are created. Let's go to Java code. Select all, delete it. Now we know there are four columns in our source, and uh, we have to make uh, one column in our target with the subject name. So for subject name, we are going to hard code the value and. Uh, we are going to use all look for that 
int i equals to 0 for i equals to 1 i is less than equals to 4 then i plus plus for this what we have to do okay before this we have to take a array of string type string a r, -R is the array name equals to and I'm going to provide values for them. Uh, my first subject name is maths. Then it is English. Then it is science. Then it is uh, Hindi. Okay. Okay, we have a string type of array which contains math, English, science and Hindi as inputs. So for i equals to 1, i is less than equals to 4 and i plus plus what we are going to do is we, we are going to assign output SID this output SID equals to input SID output SID equals to input SID next out name equals to input name okay now the output subject thing we already have maths english science and hindi in our array of string so we are going to get that value equals to a r equals to a a r r of i next thing is marks ok for maths ok marks equals to okay for subject i means for maths we are getting um, we can't use marks okay directly so here we will have to create another array for marks also for that we are going to create integer type array int marks equals to ok value from input math then input english then input science then input hindi semicolon and for output marks we are going to use this array marks of i so for subject output subject array of i means for math marks is input mark maths and for subject uh, which is at position 2 means english the marks will be input english okay now after doing uh, these things uh, we have to use a function called G E N E R A T E row. Let's check the spelling. Generate row. Okay, it is fine. Now compile the code. Okay, it is string type of array, and I am using. Uh, single quotes. This is the error. Okay. 
Curly braces expected. Okay, where is that? Um, the it is right. String of array. Okay. Okay, for us it is <sighs> okay. Compile it and now. It is saying required int and it is of double type. Okay, so change the data type to double. Now the Java code compilation is successful, then apply. Okay. Okay, connect the output ports to the target. One, two, three, four. Okay, save it. Generate for flow. Make it reusable. Okay. This is our generated workflow. Go to mapping. Check the connections. Uh, it is target. Save it, run it again. Start. So, in our source, there will uh, we have uh, four records, and in target, we should have 16. Why it is filled? Okay, Java lang array index out of bound exception. Okay, so it is error is there. Java go. Make it zero. Less than plus two three. Compilation is successful. Save it. Refresh the mapping. Save it. Run it. Okay, now our <coughs> session is executed successfully. Now it is reading four rows from the source qualifier and writing 16 rows okay 16 rows in our target scheme so let's verify the data okay this is our target table refresh it okay you can see
कमलेश मैथ 98 कमलेश इंग्लिश 78 देन इन साइंस 56 फॉर हिंदी इट इज 99 एंड फॉर मैथ्स इट इज 52 इन द सेम वे फॉर सुरेश अनीश एंड जितेंद्र नाउ देयर इज अनदर वे दैट इज बाय यूजिंग नॉर्मलाइजर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वी कैन डू द सेम थिंग सो होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू